Hello Year 5 and this is Friday Week 2 Maths. So today what we're going to begin with is a little bit of arithmetic practice. Now you'll notice it looks like there's lots of questions here. I'd like you to choose whether you'd like to have a go at the red questions or the black questions and you can choose your level of challenge. So pausing the video here and having a little go at some of these challenges. On the next slide are the answers and it'd be really good if you could send this in to your teachers so we can see some of the areas that we may need to work on. So give yourself about 10 minutes or so to work through six of the questions, either the black or the red. Okay, so here we can see um, our answers. I'd just like to draw your attention to this first question here. Just a reminder, when we see that little two above the number, it means seven squared. So seven times seven is 49 for that one. We have been doing some work before Christmas around adding fractions with different denominators. So we needed to turn a third into an equivalent fraction looking at twelfths. So we could make four twelfths. So four twelfths and three twelfths is seven twelfths. Don't worry too much if you didn't get that one correct. We can work on that in future weeks. Just let your teacher know. Okay, so the final lesson of the week then, we're going to be looking at calculating missing angles on a straight line. In order to be successful today, we're going to need to use our knowledge of angles, in particular, the value or the total of angles on a straight line. We may need to use some estimating skills to get an idea of roughly what we think the answer will be. And we're definitely going to need to use addition and subtraction skills for this week's session. Okay, so I'd like you to just have a little look at this first example on the board. We can see here that we have at two angles on a straight line. We know the value of one of these angles, it's 140, but we need to find the value of the other angle. So what knowledge can we use to help us? I want you to see if you can remember how many degrees there are on a straight line. Yeah, so it's 180. So what we've got is we've got 140 at our missing angle, will total 180. And actually, if we can use our mental math skills here, we can see that 140 is 40 away from 180. So this missing angle then is obviously going to be 40 degrees. And that's our missing angle there. We're going to have a little look now at how we might lay this out and how we might work through some calculations. They gradually do get a bit harder with calculating the size of angles on a straight line. But always remembering the important fact that angles on a straight line equal 180. OK, so here we can see we have two angles on a straight line. We have one angle, which is 106 degrees, and another angle, which we are unaware of. So we need to think about what we know. And using our bar model, we know that the total of both angles will equal 180. We know that one of those angles is 106 degrees, so we need to find the other angle. We've done work on this before, thinking about if we're missing one of our parts, what is the calculation that we need to do? And here we have down here, 180 subtract 106 equals 74. There's a range of different strategies you could have used for this subtraction question. For me, I did some mental jottings. So I did 180, I took away the 100 to start with, which left me with 80, and then I did 80, take away 6, which is 74. So my missing angle is 74 degrees, and I can write that in my bar model there as well. To see that my two parts, my two angles, 106 and 74, total 180 degrees. So we've got our answer here, of the missing angle being 74 degrees. OK, I'd like you to have a look at the next question now. And you'll notice this one is slightly different, this question, slightly varied. Yeah, you can see here that you have two given angles and one missing. 
Now we still know that these angles on this straight line equal 180. But we've actually got to do two steps for this problem. The first thing we need to think about is we need to work out the total of the angles we have already. So here you can see we have 45 add 78. Again, you may have done that in a number of ways. You may have added 40 and 70 together and 5 and 8. You may have started with 78 and added 40 and then added your 5. We got our answer of 123 degrees. So we know these two angles total 123 degrees. So now we come on to being able to create our second bar model. We know our total is 180. And so we have our part here of 123 degrees. So the calculation then that we need to do is 180 take away 123. And that leaves us with 57. So our missing angle then is 57 degrees. And you can see how this question is slightly different because it has two steps to the problem. We have been given three angles that total 180, so we need to find the two angles we already know in order to then subtract from the total 180. And the final one we're going to look at together. So this one here again is slightly different and I want you to take a minute to look at what do you know about this problem. OK, so hopefully we've drawn on that fact again. This is the key fact that angles on a straight line equal 180 degrees. We've been given one of our angles here, which is 65 degrees. We've got our missing angle here of Y. But can we remember from earlier this week what this angle means? Yeah, it is indeed a right angle. And so this angle here is going to be 90 degrees and that's going to really help us today with this question. So having a think then, what's that first step that we need to do again? Well we need to think about finding the total of 65 and 90 degrees. So 65 add 90 equals 155. So those two angles 65 degrees and this angle here equal 155. We now need to find this missing angle here. So we know the total of the degrees on a straight line is 180. So the second step of our problem is to do 180 subtract 155, which leaves us with 25. Therefore, angle Y is equal to 25 degrees. You're now going to work through some problems which require you to calculate the missing angles on a straight line. And just keep reminding yourself about what you know. You can always re-watch this clip to help you if you need to. Thank you and we look forward to seeing your work soon.